Okay, so hello and welcome to a pipeline of training webinar. My aim is to give you an overview um, of using Pipeliner. You'll have a toolbar at the top. This changes slightly depending on where you are in the system. Um, and obviously you can click on it to do whatever it says. So create new lead or opportunity, for example. Some icons require you to select a record before they become active. Okay, so we are in the pipeline and this is the backbone of using Pipeliner. Bear in mind that the word pipeline essentially represents a process and you can have multiple pipelines. And if I click here, you'll see that I am in the current pipeline, which is my sales pipeline. And if I click on the drop down, you'll see that I have others set up. And as I go into my lead qualification pipeline or process, I have different columns. I have different sales steps. So you can have multiple pipelines. We are looking here at a whole pile of opportunities, all of them at different stages within my sales process. So what is an opportunity? Well, it's a record about which you know a few things. And it is just a few. Okay, This is an opportunity record and we'll be looking at these in detail as we go through. I just really want to draw your attention to the mandatory fields. I need to be able to give this opportunity a name. Well, clearly, because I need to be able to find it again, so it has to have a name. Um, I need to give it some sort of value. You need to have a closing date and it works just as you'd expect. You need to be able to link this opportunity to a an account record. Yeah, the premise being that this is a sales opportunity. You ought to at least know the company that you're trying to sell to. When you hover over any record, this pop out is called the quick view. It's designed to give you a an overview of the record that you're looking at. It gives you click throughs to linked records. So I could jump through to the company from here, for example. And it has these quick action icons that mean that I can pretty much manage this whole opportunity just using these options here. So I can open it for editing. I can flag it as being lost and move it to the archive. I can create an activity, attach a document. This symbol here is about the value of this opportunity being excluded from the on-screen figures that you get. Yeah, Easy, quick, not that huge data load that salespeople hate about using other systems. And then we get two companies and people. If I click on this one, it's that easy to just add to your favorites list up here. And it gives you a lovely summary about that particular account or company or organization. Things like whether you've got any active leads associated with it, any open opportunities. It gives you buttons to click through to see them all. It gives you an overview, planned activities, documents, people. This is the feeds tab, which is actually a bit like Facebook. This is all about what's going on on that particular account. Nice things. Nice, nice things. Then we get to activities. And activities is all about the things that you're doing. Yeah, the individual interactions that you're having, mainly with contacts that are about progressing those opportunities, those leads, or managing those relationships. If you create an activity in Pipeliner, it can be of two underlying types, task or appointment. You can change the way that you see things. So I can see a grid, which is a plain list based view of all of my activities. I can also use tasks view. Lovely. <laughs> this shows me each individual task and it's a bit like the pipeline. Yeah, that sort of allows you to drag it and drop it from one status to the next. Yeah, so I can complete this activity, schedule a follow up immediately add my notes as a comment. We'll go through that process again. Then we get to the archive. Now, I love this. It is just so cool. You know, Pipeliner, you don't have to go delving into some complicated crystal report to get information about lost deals. It is here on screen, accessible visually in just the same way as active opportunities. It can be important to an organization to know all about deals that do not progress and why they don't progress 
Yeah, so we've got stuff here. So we've improved the visuals on this in this latest build. So it tells you about the number of opportunities lost at this particular stage of this particular process. If I just double click on any opportunity, yeah, you'll see here all of the details of it and a panel here that tells you that it's lost, the reason that it was lost, the date that it was lost on. Now, there are lots of really great little shortcuts in the system to help sales users, you know, who hate to be sitting just entering data. Re-entering data is even worse. So if an opportunity is lost, it can be reactivated back into the live pipeline literally with two clicks. Yes, you reactivate, yes, and then you just give your reactivated opportunity a new closing date, job done. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Hope you're all really excited.